Hi Capricorns, welcome back to my channel here at Bobby's Girl Pro 444. This is going to be a love message here for the sign of Capricorn. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node only pick what resonates for you and your situation and leave the rest at the door. Do not force these messages to fit. It's not going to be everybody's situation. It's not going to be every Capricorn's um, story here. So take what resonates and leave the rest, okay? Let's get started. Somebody don't want to know who's taking you home. We got a little bit of jealousy around you, Capricorn. Somebody worried. Not able to sleep. Stressed out. Biting their nails. What is this? Somebody biting? Like, oh, gosh. Okay. Cappies. What is going on? Warning. Pay attention here. These red flags. Gosh, somebody's going off on a hotel motel rendezvous. Is that what it is? Is this your significant other going to hotels? Someone's addicted to your energy, Cappies. What is this? Unexpected delays. Okay, so something's on hold right now. Okay, there's a halt. All right, what is this on hold? Like, halt, I say. I don't know who they're saying that, but halt, I say. <laughs> All right, we have somebody's dreaming of you okay well that's sweet or you're dreaming of somebody else somebody's sorry that they hurt you okay now this could be your person wanting to tell you that they're sorry maybe they were out at a hotel motel rendezvous and you know they uh rebounded they slipped up a little bit okay so just take it as it resonates they're holding on or you're holding on all right somebody wants to hold on Hold on to this betrayal or hold on because you were betrayed here. I also feel like somebody wants to just uh, their space right now. They just want time to themselves. Somebody could have a porn addiction, be lovesick here. All right, maybe that could have been the betrayal too. Is someone addicted to porn? Or maybe, I mean, some people think that that's cheating, you know? I mean, depending on you or your partner. Now, maybe discuss that, you know, if it's something that you're both into. I don't, I don't know. I mean, it's going to be different for everyone, depending on your relationship here. Okay, uh, I should have told you how they really feel. So somebody didn't open up to their feelings here. Now they're lovesick, maybe due to this porn addiction, okay? But they're dreaming of you and they're dreaming about this betrayal and how bad that they feel that things happened the way they did. Now we've got this great pretender out here. Somebody could also be playing dumb right now, acting like they don't know what's going on, uh, you know, to get away with uh, poor behavior or, you know, just things in life here. They don't want nobody to know that they're addicted to porn. I don't know. Guys, happies, first initial A through M. That could be you or your person or someone that your person is dealing with. I don't see another energy here, though. And unless they're actually seeing, you know, going to see strippers, legal matters, somebody's dealing with legal matters right now. Um, this could be you or this could be your person, depending on what kind of porn they're addicted to. I mean, uh, deep, dark secrets. Uh, yeah, you sleeping well right now. You got a clear conscience or somebody's got a clear conscience. I love the way I sleep. Thank God. I pray every night, and I'm so thankful that I get a good night's rest. Someone is coming who will defend your honor, Capricorn. Wrote a song or poem about you or them together. Someone could be wanting a pity party. This could be you or this person. Maybe it's you drowning in your sorrows, or your person's just drowning in your sorrows, wanting you to feel bad for them. It's like, I know I did this in this situation. I know I've got this porn addiction. I've got these legal matters here. I've had these secrets for a long time. This is this person's energy, you know, but they do care about you. They're sorry that they didn't speak up and tell you how they felt. You know, they weren't open. They weren't emotionally uh, vulnerable with you. Now they want you to feel bad for them. But someone also is sleeping well with a clear conscience here. Someone is coming. Someone new, or you have someone new that will uh, stick up for you here. It could be somebody in the legal system that's coming your way. This person wrote a song about you or about you and them together, or wrote a poem about you and them together here. That's sweet. Although they should have told you about a porn addiction. I mean, 
if that was the only case, if there actually was no infidelity here, okay, or cheating, gold digger, all right, master manipulator, so someone out for money, with a gold digger, way over time, digs on them, yeah, so, someone trying to manipulate you out of money, Capricorn, or you're trying to manipulate someone out of money, or your partner here, just take him as it resonates, master, they used to, they're used to doing this, okay, to other individuals, to get finances or stability out of them, you could be at a distance right now from this person, all right, gathering information, you could be gathering information, maybe due to these legal matters, you've got to look up, uh, you got to look for certain paperwork or certain documentations, or you need to have proof of certain documentations here, something could have happened during the summertime, so somebody did something wicked, or something wicked was done, whether it's to you or it's your person, there's evidence of this. Maybe somebody's trying to look for this evidence or try to hide this evidence, okay? They could have to show this evidence in court, all right? This could be uh, porn websites that this person was on, okay? Somebody breadcrumbed you or giving you breadcrumbs that got fake identity fraud, so somebody could be trying to steal your identity or has st stolen your identity. You deserve better than this, Cappies. In these hotel motel rendezvous, they could have been making uh, porn videos in the hotel motel. Somebody's very heartless right now. You know, somebody needs to check their cell phone. There may be videos or pictures on their photos on their cell phone here. Looks like somebody's about to be stripped of their gifts, okay? Now, this could be if you're a gifted individual. If you have spiritual gifts, you could be stripped of, stripped of, stripped of, stripped of those. If not, you could be just stripped of things that you know, that you think of as gifts, okay, whether the, the things that you hold most close to you, okay, someone needs to get a backbone, stand up for themselves, okay, uh, maybe this is your true love here, unbreakable bond that you have with this true love, or someone that you thought was your true love, someone needs to take damage control, or they're gonna have to, they're gonna have to here soon, they're addicted to your energy, they falsified documents, okay, could have signed your name to something, Okay, and that's why you got legal matters here, and it could be related to porn or saying that you were a porn addict. I don't know. Uh, you're on another level, or uh, somebody else is on another level here over these steamy sex. So it's just, uh, it's all about the sex, all about that base, about that base. No trouble, but this person's in trouble, like deep trouble over their addictions hired an investigator so there could be an investigator involved here that's why the legal matters are, are are here showing up they want to do right by you king or queen okay they want to show you they want you to call them so they're saying call me somebody could be on instagram there could have been some porn addiction on instagram going on labor day something could have happened last labor day that was what the end of september so something could have happened around that time gathering this information. Someone has a smear on your name campaign. This could be you. This could be your person or somebody that you're dealing with here. What the fuck is this? Capricorn. They got you wrapped up in a whole big mess, right? Or someone that you got wrapped up, somebody else wrapped up in a mess, okay? Last initial N through Z. You, your person, or anybody involved here. Someone's about to be in an orange jumpsuit, okay? Because they dropped the ball. Somebody dropped the ball, whether this is you or this is person. Also, somebody wants to take away your free will. This could be you losing your freedom, too, or worried about losing your freedom. Somebody wants a second chance. I feel like they're trying to avoid going to jail or prison. We also have loose vagina energy over here. You can park a semi up in that bitch. Wow. This is sad. This sounds like a big old scandal over here trying to get caught up in here. Someone slept with your cousin or their cousin or a family member here. Oh, okay. Due to their addictions. Yeah, somebody needs your help, but you're like, don't come asking for help now because it's a little too late. Maybe they had enough time to come and ask for help. They're trying to figure out a way to get back in your good graces. Someone just sealed their fate. Oh, jeez. This is a fated event, okay? It was something that was meant to happen this way, guys. Somebody wants you to be silent or they want to silence you. Maybe because their past is haunting them. Yeah, they can't stand a thought of you of being someone else, okay? So they're worried. They don't want to know who's taking you home, okay? It really bothers this person. It's same shit, different day, though. 
Okay, this is a constant cycle that this person, they're addicted. They're addicted to porn. They could be, I don't know. Oh, God, no. Child pornography, child pornography or younger. I'm going to be sick. Low self-esteem. You could be in isolation right now. Somebody could have married a thief. This thief could be the one that's addicted to porn and to younger energies. Oh, God, someone trying to food poison you or put stuff in your drinks here. Wants to punish or criticize you or blame you for their mistakes. This is sick. You got a tarot reading on you or someone is getting tarot readings on you. Ugh. Just for fun. They don't want anything serious. This person just likes to fuck. That's it. That's all about, it's all about stroking their ego. They're falling apart without you. Somebody needs your help. You're this person's main addiction right now. What is this, this person is sick, Cappies. Someone's using a voodoo or magic on you or has got a voodoo doll they're using. Ugh, I don't know if this is you or if this is this person you're dealing with, Cappy. This is oh, this is disgusting. I don't even want to be in this energy right now. I don't even know if I'm going to post this video. Someone's in for a rude awakening. Not prepared for what's next. Yeah, they don't know. Someone met on OnlyFans. They either have an Instagram or an OnlyFans here. Relapsed into their addictions. Stays intoxicated to cover up their pain. They could do this while they're intoxicated. Something happened during the full moon. They could be doing those voodoo rituals, whatever, under the full moon. <coughs> Excuse me. Something's going on downstairs or in a basement. Oh, living a double life. Person with a red vehicle. Pathetic and mean. Why they gotta be so mean? Physically abusing others or being physically abused. Going through a breakup and chronic illness right now. Oh, this is sad. I'm trying to sneak away. Trying to get away with something. There's hidden camera or voice recorder. Somebody's got something on camera. They've got an act or, or, or something here on camera. There is evidence on somebody's phone. Someone also, someone else is also broke. Why? Because they make too many wrong decisions and now they're crying. They're sitting back over in the corner crying over what's, what's happening right now. They could be begging or they want you to beg for them. Beg for you to come back to them. I don't know. <sighs> them to come back to you. Uh today something could be going on today these secrets and lies could be coming out today they could be coming out right now there's september again something definitely during labor day now somebody could actually be giving birth or they have somebody else is holding a grudge maybe due to losing a bunch of money or having to go bankrupt or they did go bankrupt by a gold digger somebody out trying to steal their money on uh, either instagram or only fans here this thief that Somebody married, you got another thief out here, Steve. You could be a thief and you could have attracted an even bigger thief. You do have haters around you and that's their job. Haters going to hate. Watching you like a hawk, so somebody's watching you. They got hawk eyes on you. Wanted to watch your every move, see what um what's Capricorn doing now, okay? What do they got going on over there, right? Eh? All right, nothing more in there. Let's see. What else does Capricorn need to know? It's like talking to a brick wall. Lead a horse to water, but you may, can't make him drink, right, guys? So you, maybe you tried to say something to this person or somebody tried to say something to you, like a, a warning. Pay attention, you know, what's going on around you. And you didn't pay attention or this person didn't pay attention and you got caught up, right? That's all for attention. That's all for stroking ego. Paying people to lie on you. So you're paying people to lie on somebody or somebody's paying people to lie on you. There's karma involved here. Yeah, this was definitely a faded event, okay? Something that was meant to happen this way. You blocked communication or there's blocked communication between you and this person. Or you need to block communication with this person. They'll do anything to numb the pain, whether this is you or this person. 
they're numbing their pain with their addictions, whatever they are. If they're porn addictions, okay, and, and that helps them just get off uh, this pervert over here, whatever. Harsh judgment for all, the, all that are involved. So can you say crazy? This is fucking crazy. This person just cares about getting their dick wet or getting their pussy jammed, whatever. Can't hold it back. So if somebody can't hold back, they can't hold back their sexual desires. Ugh, substance abuse is involved over here. That could be uh, also alcohol, drugs, whatever. Depending on what kind of drugs you're into or this person's into. Maybe you did these together. I don't know. You're an original over here. No one can replace you, okay? No one can replace anybody. Rally to take you down. So somebody's trying to take you down. Why? Because these secrets are coming out. These lies are coming out. Okay? So um, you're protected. You don't have to worry about these fools over here because they can't do shit. They're trying to compare sexual partners. Okay? Maybe they're trying to do that uh, and put it on Instagram or on OnlyFans here. You got a stalker around you or stalker energy. Somebody's watching you like a hawk. Okay? This could also be like uh, the feds outside watching your every move, okay? So, or watching where you go. They could have a tracker on your car trying to play Build-A-Bitch over there. So, somebody's trying to play Build-A-Bitch, trying to build the perfect girl or the perfect guy working from home. Maybe you got a bar downstairs in your basement or something, or I don't know, you have it downstairs. Take it as it resonates. There could have been a fight breakout. Maybe you did a bar hopping with this person, okay? And a fight broke out during the bar, a bar hop. Hurry. Right. They can't imagine a life without you. Somebody's stuck and bonded to a situation. Somebody could drive a Ford. Okay. Uh, yeah, you're unattracted to this person. Who wouldn't be unattracted to this person? This person's thick. They need help. They actually need to be put away. Somebody says all of me loves all of you. And that's stalker vibes. I don't, wanna, I don't like it. Get rich quick scheme. So somebody tried to do a get rich quick scream. Scream. Somebody's screaming. A get rich quick scheme, and it went sour. So they took a big loss, and now they're bankrupt, or they're about to be, or you're bankrupt, and you're about to be. Take it as it resonates. They can't stop staring at you. Okay, guarding their heart. Okay, because they're screaming right now that this is all happening and unfolding. They can't believe their eyes. Yeah, you're saying that's not my problem. Okay. This could be a twin flame. Doesn't have to be, but that one came out. It could be a higher level soulmate. There is fate here. It's a fated event. It's something that was meant to occur this way, in this manner, and fold in the exact same order as it has. If you're living your best single life, Cappies, okay, or someone's living their best single life right now, okay? You have so much in common. Someone feels like you have a lot in common together, okay? This could have been like a best friend, it could have been a, a, you know, a sister, it could have been a sibling, a brother, I don't know. <sighs> trying to make you jealous, so somebody could have done all this just to try and make you jealous, to see if you would come back to them, but they didn't realize that they got caught up in this scheme, this get rich quick, they thought that they were going to have it all. They could have had it all. Rolling in the deep. Now they're rolling in the deep. And now there's false accusations being made here. They're so full of shit. Somebody needs a diaper change. These grown ass adults over here doing all this. Sick mofos. They want to keep things confidential. They don't want things to come out in the public. They don't want the community to know. The community is finding this out. Somebody's going to great lengths to destroy you, trying to pillow talk your business, trying to get information on you. It's like somebody's trying to set you up, but you're trying to set up somebody else. All right. Facebook. Man, there's a lot of different websites over here. So we got Instagram, OnlyFans, and Facebook. So they got three different accounts or the three different things going on here behind the scenes, a scandal. Okay, someone planting seeds somewhere else, wanting to plant seeds somewhere else. We got July, so could have been dealing with a cancer or Leo or somebody on that cusp. Somebody's a crash test dummy over here, walking right into a burning building, and the burnings, uh, the building is crashing down. Basically, that's a tower. So you're having a tower here, this arrested development over here. 
So someone stopping someone's physical or mental development, you know, keeping them in an infantile state. Someone doesn't want somebody to grow up. There could be a fight breaking out. Maybe tonight. Who knows? Thought they'd never get caught. So somebody thought that they'd never get caught. They've done this multiple times to people. Yeah, they're planting seeds all over, okay? They get what they want, you know, stuck in their ego and their pride over here. Someone's about to be uh, make a public confession because they're being haunted or they're being forced to. And now the family is breaking out. There could be a fight break out with family members here. It could be an actual brawl right in front of the whole community. It, it, it's gonna, it, it's not gonna be pretty here. Curiosity killed the cat because all the they they shamed their whole family, or you did. I don't know, Capricorn. Whoever you're dealing with, their whole family has been shamed. Yeah, if somebody plain stupid or actually stupid, I don't know. This is sad. Like really sad. Thought, yeah, never thought they would lose you. So somebody thought that they were just going to keep you hanging on a string over here. But they got curious and decided to go for this get rich quick scheme. And now they're bouncing checks because they're bankrupt. They done lost everything. They've asked themselves completely out. Or you have, I don't know. <sighs> nothing to hide. You ain't got nothing to hide. Somebody strictly dickly over here drives a Toyota. Okay, maybe they lied and said that you were in a, in you know, multiple third party situations and, you know, you liked uh, porn and you were an addict. I don't know. They tried to turn the story over on you. And if you are feminine, you're strictly dickly over here. Okay, your ex is an idiot. It could be an ex that you're dealing with here. Now this person's hiding from the law. If not, you're hiding from the law. Oh my gosh. I don't even know if I want to post this for you guys. About now they're ready to stand up and fight for your relationship. Maybe they didn't before. They could be dealing with insurance fraud too. This is this is a lot, guys. Yeah, that's fate. Some something happened at a social event. Someone's cuckoo for cuckoo puffs. They're losing their shit. Losing their marbles. It's a loose cannon up in there. Yeah, three's a crowd. Okay, you could have had a threesome with this person or somebody wanted to have a threesome with you. Oh my God. Okay. And it could have been family. I don't know. Or friends. They study you. So they're trying to be like you. Okay. You can't be like somebody else. Okay. You can only be yourself. Blonde or dark or brown or dark hair. Or they could have blonde hair. Oh my gosh. Wow. Wow. Stuck in the past. Don't know how to move forward. Blocking you from moving forward. They're trying to block you from moving forward because they can't move forward. That's a big mistake over there. I, 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 I gotta get out of this energy. I can't. All for passions. That's it. It's all for sex. Silly rabbit tricks are for kids over here. This person thought they had the jackpot. More or less, they got a, a bowl of shit. That's what they got. That's sad. Yeah, some a con artist. You're dealing with a con artist. They say yes. Okay. Bad, 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 bad reputation now. The whole family is going to be looked at and nobody's going to want anything to do with either your family or this person's family, but there's shame everywhere written all over this. Now somebody wants to apologize to try and redeem themselves. Hey, this is heavy. Somebody's seeing the light. They were catfished. Or you were involved in a catfishing scheme. Taurus, that could be involved here. Somebody that's stuck in low vibrational energy that uh, wants their ego stroked. Male or female, you know, likes uh, dressing up in lingerie and is enticed by like itty bitties. Little teeny boppers, right? Someone's watching too much terror. They need to move around. They need to take care of business, okay? And stop be worrying about trying to ruin somebody else's life. Telling everyone that you're still together. They're lying about sexing you or, or having sex with you. You're over here just working on yourself. Bringing down the hammer now, okay? Somebody needs to get a protection order, a restraining order. They're saying there's two sides to the story, but this person's cuckoo for cuckoo puffs. 
They made to be in the loony bin. You know, you're irresistible. This person's dealing with PTSD, mental health issues, sexual addictions, this psychosis, and the devil. They're stuck in devilish energy, okay? That's just it. They're having delusions, hallucinations. They're love drunk. They're, they're constantly drunk all the time. And all they can do is think about loving you and wanting you. You're in a class all your own over here, doing your own, your own thing. You got your nose down to the grindstone just working, okay? And all this shit's going on behind the scenes, okay? Wow. Yeah, now this person's having a breakdown. Maybe outside, okay? Like I said, it could be in front of other people. Shame in the whole family. You're independent. You don't want anything to do with this person or anything to do with this situation. You're just sitting over here being happy, being yourself. We got a male between 31 to 50 that could be unstable right now. It could be this Taurus. It doesn't have to be, but that's the only sign that came out. I got to get out of this energy, guys. This is just way too heavy. That's too much, Cappies. Let me see what this Taurus is up to. They can't stop the feeling. That's it. It's all about the feeling. This person is sick. Tell me about this Taurus here. Ah, yeah. Dick Tracy over here. Worried about their dick. Stealing money. Creative ideas, affection, or other powers that you think you lack. Take it. This is the femme fatale over here, this thief. They will take everything until your ass completely out. They don't care if they if it's your demise. They don't care. This is that poisoning your food, your drinks, whatever. Gold digger, they'll take everything. Con artist. I can't make this stuff. Wanting you to beg to come back to them. Get down on your knees and beg to come back. That's this kind of person. A bully. This is sick, guys. I don't even know if I'm going to post this. Tell me about this Taurus. It has no empathy over here. They're open to see both sides of the situation. No, their side is the only side. They got to have that God complex where they got to be right. They're the only ones that right. You're wrong. That's their energy. They have no empathy. They lack it. This is a psychopath. They have no imagination or no creativity whatsoever. They lack that. They also feel lonely. So they constantly are trying to fill that void. Yeah, they just want to service. They want others to service them. Okay, this person could actually run a service porn service they could have a business on any of those websites here and this is where they get their money from and now there's guilt and I feel like this person doesn't feel guilty because they're making a lot of money off of doing this to people radioactive something's radioactive man it's about ready to explode right now look out Look out. I don't know if this Taurus is about to explode. Capricorn, I don't know if you're about to explode, but let's see what's going on in Karmicville over here. Since this is possibly a higher level soulmate or twin flame of yours, okay? Not everyone's on a twin flame journey, but just take what resonates and leave the rest at the door. Wow. You're glowing up over here. You're just shining. There's shocking news or an event about to happen because this person thought they'd never get caught and here they're getting caught up. Now they all want to fly out. Yeah, I said somebody's being watched. This is possibly outside your home or they got a tracker on your car watching your every move. Okay, either you on you or on this Taurus here, okay? Um, God sees what you can't, so balance is going to be reassured. They want to talk bad about you because they don't just want to be a part of your life. So they'll make up all kinds of shit, fabricate all kinds of stories here just because you don't want nothing to do with them. Look what they're involved in. Who would want to deal with any of that? 
They can't face the truth. They can't face themselves. They can't look in the mirror. If they were to look at the mirror at themselves, the glass would shatter. They could have 10 to 20, maybe 30 years in prison looking that they're looking at. There are no stability. So this person has no stability. Or you have no stability because they gold digged it away from you. All right? Uh, yeah, the karmic is boring in bed. Oh, well. All right? That's why they go out and do all this with all these, uh, these porn <sighs> collaborations. So somebody's in a collaboration together working against you or working against worthless Taurus or against this Taurus. Secret lovers are being exposed. Ugh, it's like this person could have magazines made up. Maybe they take pictures on OnlyFans or on Instagram or on Facebook. They take those pictures and they put them into like their magazine. They're like a, a con artist that way where they have their own publicity some way in shape or form that way. That's sick. All right, like hustler. This is a hustler. Bros before hoes. That's what this person care about. They care about their bros and, you know, how many, how many women they can get on their belt or how many men they can get in their cooter. Play too many games for far too long. And yeah, they're on a journey to the jailhouse. It's the jailhouse rock over there. Right? Disrespectful and dishonest. This person can't be honest with themselves. They definitely don't respect themselves. Karmic is trying to access everything you have, and they're trying to brainwash people around them. Could be your own family. They're trying to get to turn against you or your own family. I don't know. Karmic is truly broken. They're losing left and right. Yeah, because these secrets and lies are coming out. That's what happens. That's what God and the universe takes away is what is most important to you, what you hold most dear to you. And if it's money, material things, gone. It'll go. This is not even this person's family. They're adopted. So, all right. This is a fallen angel. They lost their wings. They're definitely not going to heaven. It looks like they're going. There's a fire down below, okay? Not entertaining scallywags. And that karmic is drained or is draining the bank accounts. If you're not bankrupt, you will be, okay? So this is a warning. If it has not happened, it's not currently happening. This is happening here in the near future. So this is like a heads up for you to say, I need to check some things out. You know, get things in order here. Get your life in order. What's going on? Um, they chose their karmic over you. Oh, well, this karmic is the destroyer. So what good did it do to choose a karmic energy? Someone that's even in lower vibrational than what you were this Taurus was in. What, what makes a difference? You got karma out of it, and they're destroying your life. Now there's going to be tower after tower after tower. So what was the good out of it? That person's for the streets anyway, male or female. They're good for nothing except for a good time. Yeah, burden, uh, karmic burdens affecting their health. Plus, anyway, this karmic's not even good in bed, so what is that worth? Yeah, this person could have bad health and everything's backfired. I can't make it up. Things are backfiring. Everything done in the dark comes to light. This person suffers with low self-esteem or no self-esteem. They don't love themselves. Now they're getting a reality check and their house is nothing but hell. Why? Because towers keep falling after falling and falling and falling. And they will keep doing that until something's done or there's some type of change for the positive. And that's just the way the universe works. That's the way God works. You can hide behind everything and everyone except for God, except for the universe. It sees the energy that you put out and you've put out negative energy or this person's putting out negative energy. Don't expect for it to turn around back on you. It happens. It's called what goes around comes around. Trying to seclude you from society, friends, or family. And their reputation is ruined. And this includes their whole family is going to be shamed. Your family, their family, this may end up being on the freaking news. I don't like to say that very often, but in some of these readings, they are so bad. This one's, this one's a bad one. That th This may be publicly, either in the paper or on the news. Somebody could be in a hospital. 
or is about to be, if there's an altercation, it could be a physical altercation that sends somebody to the ER. Triangulation, trying to triangulate me with the family and the lovers. Wow. They have no respect or integrity. And uh, what's done in the dark comes to light. What's done in the dark always comes to light. You can't hide from God. You can't hide from the universe. People think that that's stupid. That's dumb. Oh, you don't know what you're talking about until towers start falling in your life. And you're like, what's going on? Why is this happening? Well, look at what the energy you put out. That's just what it is. Now reputation's ruined. I can't make it up. The, all the dirty laundry's out. Or it's coming out now. Yeah. This is a soul crusher. This is somebody that just wants to destroy your life. They do this for the living. They're a con artist. They go around destroying people's life. Why? Because they don't feel good about themselves. They feel like their life's been destroyed. So why shouldn't they destroy somebody else's life? This is a revolving door. This is a karmic cycle. There is a lot of negative karma attached to this individual. And they're being seduced with their sexuality. This person don't know, you know, whether they're bisexual, trisexual. Uh, you know what? They don't know if they're lesbian. They don't know if they're gay. Even depending on your sexuality is your sexuality. But if you're brainwashing someone and you're confusing them and you've got them stuck in an illusion, over these sex addictions, these porn addictions, that's fucked up. That's head games. That's mind manipulation. Mind fuckery. That's abuse. Someone's acting like a fool, being very foolish. And I just can't make it up, guys. Just be honest. Why wouldn't you want to be honest? Because you don't want these secrets to come out because you know that it's not right. Anyone with a conscience knows right from wrong. This person knows right from wrong, but they decide to do the wrong things, make the wrong choices, but they don't want to put up with the consequences. That ain't got nothing to do with us. I mean, maybe it does, Capricorn, depending on if you're still in this situation or not. I mean, hopefully you're not. This is sad, like really sad. A brother can be involved, female, a nephew, a cousin, the letter M, Marcus, Matthew, Mitchell. There's Taurus again. Somebody could be a double Taurus or have two Taurus placements in their chart. Okay. So we got a male. Somebody could be a musician, air sign. Aries, karmic cycle, August could be significant, or September, or Labor Day, like I said, Mulan, someone like a samurai sword, sword fighting over here, what is this, Luna, somebody could be into like moon magic, I gotta give the messages, guys, somebody's name could be Luna. Somebody could just be a lunatic. All right. Somebody feels numb. Like they just can't move. If you've been poisoned, food poisoning, or your drinks here, like you're overly intoxicated here, like a alcohol, um, and, uh, alcohol poisoning. Somebody could have suffered from alcohol poisoning. Lex, Lexi. Alexis. All right, we got a male, an uncle, a spouse, a brother, a female, a nephew, a cousin, a grandma. We've got Aries, Virgo, Taurus. I've already did, done that. Okay, we, and we have Gemini, so I'll check those out. Okay, we got an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Billy, Billy, somebody's name could be Billy. Billy, don't you lose my number. Something with numbers. Somebody's looking for a phone number. Somebody feels like a jackass, a mule here. Or mules are significant. Somebody like Moscow mule or something. That could be. Somebody could be getting a package. Maybe you got a package today. Maybe you'll get a package tomorrow. Something with FedEx. Maybe you could work with FedEx. The X is involved here. 
somebody's like off to the next victim. Thank you, next, next person, next number. It's like, I don't know, this is sick. It's like, take a number, please. Maybe you got somebody waiting because we had unexpected delays here. Like somebody asking you to take a number to wait. There's a lot men here is significant. So there could be like men that's into other men and that's okay. That's your prerogative, but um, Naomi, Nelly, Leonard, Leah, Lene, Mina, Things are being illuminated, like, I, can, I just see, like, like bright lights. Bright lights, big city. Somebody could be in a big city where there's a lot of, like, the lights are, are, are bright. I don't know if there's, like, a, some kind of game or something go on here. Mundane. Something is very mundane. Eden. Ellen. Melanie. Melvin. There's a fire going on or something, but there's smoke. Somebody's smoking a lot or somebody's smelling smoke here. Somebody's messing with matches or there's gas. There's gas fumes. Somebody's tampering with the evidence over here. Eugene. Eugene, Eugene, yes. This person may be a genius or maybe really smart. Their IQ is really smart, but they're like dumb as fuck when it comes to like the yeah, common sense. But like with numbers and that, they're like a genius. All right, N L U E M X. I gotta get out of here. First, middle, last initial. <sighs> Somebody could be on a bicycle. All right, we got Gemini, Virgo, and Aries. Let me cl clarify this real quick, and, and I'm gonna get off of this read because this is just too much. It's too much, guys. This is sad. I don't even know what I'm gonna. I don't even know if I'm gonna post this here. I don't know why. I mean, I probably will, but this is making me sick. This is probably one of the top worst reads that I've done. Tell me about this Gemini. Okay, so Gemini is over here, altering flax. A flax. What is this? Flax. Somebody drinking from a flask? If you are, check it. There may be poison in that. Somebody put something in that flask. All right, uh, the scriber over here, altering facts or plagiarizing somebody else's work. So this is for somebody over here writing down word for word what everybody says, or, you know, copying somebody else's work and making it out as their own, okay? Because they can't have any creative ideas for themselves. Oh, well, it is what it is, okay? So... You know, congratulate them that they don't have any creative ideas on their own, that they got to go around and steal other people's, okay? They don't have enough knowledge for themselves. Okay. They on the short bus. That's okay. They missed the long bus. It went, you know, it 
flew on by them, right? Okay. Virgo, the mediator, negotiating with an ulterior motive or hidden agenda, either personal or professional. This person's just out to get what they can get. They've got a hidden agenda, even like they act like, oh, no, we're we're going to do it this way. That way we're going to be fair to all of these individuals. Everybody's going to get their cut out of this situation if there's money involved here. But yet it's all for the Virgo to get what they want in the end. They've got a, a hidden agenda or ulterior motive, whether that's for their profession or if it's for a, a personal or a financial gain for themselves. All right. Tell me about this Aries. Talk about this Aries, please. Prostitute. Okay. Yeah. Places material consideration, security above self-empowerment, sex for money, pornography. <coughs> Possibly in magazines or photos or somebody's and it got something set up here and they're selling it. Okay. They're using sex in order to get finances out of it. Why? Because this is their business. They may have two or three different um, streams of, of, of ways that they're getting this money from. This is thick. This is like somebody swimming in money over here, just laying down, letting it fall on them. Basking in the ambience, as though they say. This is their forte. They don't want to work a nine-to-five job. They're selling their body. And we got somebody else over here scribing everything down, writing everything down for this person. Okay? Whether it's this Taurus, it's this Gemini, this Virgo, or this Aries, or you Capricorn, okay? Somebody's plagiarizing another person's work, and then somebody else is d d dividing all the um, financial... Um, parts between each individual and then they got somebody else here doing all the hard work the prostitution for it going out here doing all the fucking for it or you know just putting their body out there or they're taking pictures and photos from people on instagram on facebook making fake accounts in order to get people's photos photoshop them as prostitutes and put them in this magazine or whatever it is and sell it for money All right, so, yeah, this Gemini has low self-esteem. They don't care about themselves. They don't feel good enough about themselves. They don't love themselves. They lack that. They don't have confidence or enough strength. And my cat came to visit. All right, and then Virgo, we got the, medi the mediator here. Yeah, they're worried now. They, they're afraid. They're afraid that the what the outcome is going to be because now they're getting caught up or they're being caught. So they're in worry and fear. All they do is worry all the time. Worry is a wasted emotion. Deeds are already done. Can't go back and change what you already done. But it's coming out now. And guess what? This is going to shame, like I said, your family and everyone else's family here. It's involved. So what's there to worry about now? Nothing. Okay. And this uh, Aries don't trust themselves. So how can they trust anybody else? They don't put faith in uh, and listen to their inner voice, listen to their intuition here, and know that it's going to guide them in the, raw, in the right direction. All they care about is being self-empowered, what they're getting out of it. And it just is what it is, guys. This is sick. This is the sickest read. Whew. Let me get some states out of here. Where is this? Uh, where is this happening? Where this is places that you live, this person lives, okay, this is the places that they got their prostitutes, their porn at, um, porn models, whatever it is, okay, uh, I don't know, Virginia, Mississippi, Maryland, Florida, West Virginia, Arizona, this could be places they're hiding if they're hiding from the law, okay, well, Vermont, and I really hope the feds are watching this one over here. Because they are watching somebody. They got somebody's house. They got somebody that they're watching really closely. <clears throat> North Carolina, Georgia, Ohio. Wow. North Dakota. Connecticut. Rhode Island, Michigan. This is a huge scandal. Huge. 
South Carolina, South Dakota, Alabama, one more, one more, one more. These could be any of these women that are from these states that they're using or they have working for them or they're paying whatever for this to be done. Okay, because they're being paid to lie on someone, okay? Hawaii and Wyoming here. You got New Jersey on the bottom. Okay, Missouri, Ohio, Wyoming, Florida, Hawaii, North Dakota, West Virginia, Alabama, South Carolina, North uh, South Dakota, Virginia, Texas, Mississippi, Arizona, Vermont, Connecticut, Michigan, Georgia, Maryland, North Carolina, and Rhode Island. I'm going to get some positivity here. So, uh, <clears throat> we need to lighten this read up before I close this out. Think twice before you give a fuck. Ask yourself this. What if that thing that's bothering, worrying, haunting you didn't matter? If it didn't matter, would you be happier, kinder, more productive? If it didn't matter, would you sleep better? Would you let yourself enjoy an ice cream cone or whatever else your heart desires? If so, then don't give that fuck. If not giving a fuck means going against one of your core values, then go ahead. Give that fuck. You're not supposed to never give a fuck. The point is to give them where it matters. To balance your fucks out. If fucks were money, would you drop that much money here? Take care and spend your fucks wisely. It's not saying don't give a fuck. It's saying think twice before you give a fuck and only give that fuck where it's deserving. Okay? Feel your fucking feelings. Set a timer for 30 minutes and give yourself full permission to feel whatever it is you've been avoiding. Or organize your sock drawer while you cry or seethe or get jiggy with some hardcore self-pity. And then, when the time is up, get off your ass and do something constructive. Your big little sweetheart of a heart will thank you later. So set a timer. Get into your fucking feelings. Work on that self-work, that self-worth, self-love. Take care of those inner wounds, those childhood wounds. This person could have had a lot of, you know, uh, sexual abuse happen to them. Any of these individuals when they were little and they just got caught up in it and became addicted to it. Okay. They need to work on that. They need a lot of therapy. Some tr stop trying to skip the fucking struggle. Keeping it positive won't insulate you from having emotions and needing to evolve. You're not going to spiritual your way out of hitting the next layer of wounds to heal. So many of us make the mistake of thinking we'll arrive that and that thou be with the life lessons and shit. Personal growth is more like peeing, peeling. Yeah, somebody peeing on themselves, right? <laughs> I got somebody peeing on themselves right now. Peeling an onion that is like climbing a mountain, all right? Then like climbing a mountain. It gets stinkier and stinkier and you cry more and more, but everything gets juicier the deeper that you go. The true spiritual badasses don't pretend like their onions don't stink. So people like to think their shit don't stink, but honey, your shit don't smell like roses. It smells just like everybody else's, okay? You're no better than anyone else in this world, okay? You can't have a positive as fuck life with a negative as fuck mind. It says, if you find yourself with a head full of crap, go watch some videos of babies laughing or goats excitement feigning. Or old people cursing. It's helpful to think of laughing as a mental pooper scooper. You gotta get the turds out so you have room for fresh and lovely thoughts. So get the shit out of your head. Get negative shit out of your head. Put some positive shit in your head. Being weird as fuck is better than being boring as hell. Go to the grocery store and buy one grape. Just one. Put it on the conveyor belt. Let the checker weigh it and ring it up. Ask for a receipt. Do not under any circumstances explain yourself to anyone. Take that grape and thank it for teaching you how to do shit that others don't understand for whatever good reason you have. So do something, be weird as fuck, but in a good way, okay? Just buy one grape and make somebody else think they're like, why did that person buy the grape? Because you fucking felt like it. Because you wanted to be your weird ass self for a day, okay? Make them wonder. <laughs> it's okay. It's better to be weird than being boring as hell. But you can also do that in a positive way. You don't have to go out here and do fuck shit. That's what they call this. To people. And it just is what it is.
people are who they are. They show you their true colors, and now they've done shame their self and shame their entire family. It's sad. All right, guys, so that's the reading I have for you. Hopefully it resonated. Capricorns, please like, comment, share, subscribe. If this is your message, um, we wish you healing and we wish you peace. Know that you are, deserve better than this that's going on here. You're beautiful. You're loved. You're lovable. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. If you worry about that, stop worrying. You're worth so much more than dealing with this. I hope you have a wonderful holiday. And I love you.